development of every community depends on what the people and individuals contribute to make lives better. The number of lives touched either by the dint of donation or charity not only spreads light to the most needy, but also enlightens souls in the process. Charity is a notable virtue. It brings to life again those who are morally dead. No wonder non-profit making and charitable organizations as well as NGOs pool their resources together to improve the lives of the abandoned, poor children, adults, orphans, the aged and homeless in the community. As a way of commemorating the celebration of June 12, which is a notable date in the annals of history of the Nigerian democracy, coupled with the adoption of the philanthropic disposition of the hero of the June 12 struggle, Chief MKO Abiola, the Estate Youth Parliament decided to reach out to the less privileged in their community. The group visits His Grace Orphanage Home, located within the low cost housing estate Okiafa, Ejibo, Lagos. We hope to continue this kind of gesture uh, in the nearest future. It is very, very good to have a mother in life, and we feel for them, and we hope that they will become successful in life. From the orphanage home, the group extends its benevolence to the Center for Happy Elderly People, located within the community. The day was also used to create an outlet for members of the community to pick at liberty items needed. Members of the Estate Youth Parliament described how the idea of assisting the less privileged in the community was conceived and what they aimed to achieve with these gestures. They spoke on the impact of their visitation on the places visited and the development of their community as they hoped to make it a frequent exercise in the future. A very good idea because it is ordered by God. Uh, we are here to serve the less privileged, and whatever we have for them, we are giving on to them. And we hope this thing will continue from time to time. What we just do majorly is to get across people on our platform, and they, they are the ones that actually donated all the materials that we have brought here today. And they, from the money we have at hand, also we are able to also purchase a little food material. For those people, for the other people's home here, and also where we went to it initially, so it's just a way of showing love to the less privileged. We remember the less privileged ones. That's where we are joining them in marking uh, June 12th Democracy Day to make people feel happy and let them know there is hope. There is a need to be your brother's keeper. We went to the children's home. These are motherless home. So we only went there to at least feel their feelings, appreciate them, so that they can actually understand they are being loved and there are people out there that are actually feeling for them. And the elderly, we all will definitely get old one day that when we'll be helpless, we need somebody to actually support us. That's why we actually went there also to give a little support, just a little token from the Estate Youth Parliament. It will go a long way in, the, in their minds because uh, they are already applauding us on the platform already. So we are just happy and we are elated that we have been able to bring up this idea and we are achieving this. We are achieving it on this day, June 12th, uh, the Democracy Day of Nigeria. For those who have given clothes, they will always remember that at least this was from somebody. And at least with that, they will appreciate us. Those who give food, at least they will also remember because we have to share so that we should have the feelings, the pains of others. So we need to share it and that is why what we've just done. And with that, they will already think that oh, they will be remembered that they have somebody out there that actually doing something or caring for them. We enjoy all other uh, organizations to join in making people happy as we are trying to do. If other people to join them, and it continues like that. We show the love, we show the care, we show appreciation to Almighty God. We show, we let people know that there are some other people out there that think about them, that love them and care for them as well. 
we have some people that are very shy. They can't go out there and say, oh, they are giving this. But now that we are here, they can bring it to us. Bringing it to us, like the little ones you see, they were voluntary donation. And we know by next year, we'll be able to reach out to a very many large member of the community. The government cannot do it all, and that is why we are calling on uh, different groups that have, the, that have what it takes to support the less privileged. The government are also trying on their own part, but we all know that government cannot see everywhere. We that are at the graduate level, we should be able to do things like this, to support people like this, and uh, this is not even going to be the only time we are going to be doing this. We keep doing this, I mean, on a frequent basis, so as to check on them and they see how they are doing. It is the hope of the group that organizations of like minds in the community adopt the initiative of identifying and extending charity to the poor and the needy in the community.